everybody welcome to my channel Neek was so nice tonight my video is just going to be um with this cute quick hairstyle with some leftover braiding hair and some marley twist hair that i use um for a bun in the top or either pulling it around to the back of my head um i was just showing that i was gonna put a braid down the middle and then some braids off to the side almost like a little tribal look Y'all, I still have to practice doing feeding braids or Ghana braids. I'm not quite there yet. I just have to learn how to position the hair properly. But that's what I'm doing today. And I'm happy of how it came out. And y'all, if y'all hear a little noise in the background, that is my fan. I enjoy, no matter what time of year it is, having some nice, cool breeze go throughout the house. Especially if I didn't have the AC on. But... I was just showing, I believe, the difference between the hairpin and the bobby pin. The bobby pins are closed up. Hairpins are open, y'all. Just for those that don't know, because sometimes they do use it interchangeably. Um, and I was just showing my needle and thread that would be used with my hairstyle also. And then I'm going to be showing my hair tie. And my alligator clips, oh my bad, my hair shells that I got from my local hair store that I will be using in my hairstyle. But yeah, I hope everybody is doing good. Um, I did want to do another hair video. I was going to wait, but I was like, you know what, I need to do something with my hair real quick. I'm going to the gym more now and don't want to, you know, wear wigs and stuff like that. Plus, just want to have something nicely done with my hair for the week until I you know do something else with it but yep I'm getting into it I was just showing the last little bit of the things that I was using uh, at this point I already parted my hair down the way that I want it to be so I was showing I, I went in the opposite direction but my braid this braid in the middle will be going to the back and then the other little sections that you see that I have just hanging on out there will be some braids that I will be adding also. So guys, I think I'm going to just be quiet, play a little music so you can see what's going on. And I may come, you know, back and forth throughout the video and just, you know, speak on what's going on next. So enjoy.
Okay guys, so I am back. I finished my first cornrow going down the middle. And it looks better in person than it probably does on camera. But what I'm going to do is my hair that I just took out the snout. I'm going to place a braid there and one on the other side of the braid down the middle. And then by each ear I'm going to have two braids coming forward. So you will see that after a while. I realized that I did say the same thing twice with me stretching the hair out just so it doesn't be blunt on the end. But, you know, that's an important step just to make sure that it looks nice as you're braiding. So I'm going to go ahead away and play some more music for you guys and I'll be back. Okay, y'all, so I ran out of hair gel and all I had was lock twist gel. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that. Um, it's, you know, pretty decent on my hair. It'll hold it up. Plus, I'm going to use my satin like scarf at night anyway. And it's like after I start tying it down, it, you know, it'll adhere. It'll stay in place the way that it needs to. So I'm just using that. Um, don't need a whole bunch of products on my hair anyway, because this is just something for the week. Um, so that's what I'm doing after this what I'm going to be doing is just getting my hair together so I can do my two braids on the side and yes this little scarf has been through it but it has held me down so yep that's what I'm about to do is just loosen out my little braid on the side well first I'm just um, getting rid of some of the stray hairs on this braid I think the last time I did something like this I dipped it in hot water but I didn't feel like doing all that tonight so I just go ahead and use the lighter and you know singe off any hairs that was just hanging all in the way so at this point I've already placed both of my braids on each side I don't know about you but sometimes when I do hair like one side can look great or not give me one, any problems and then the other side just want to act a plum fool. But it's okay. It still worked out. Um, and when I do hair sometimes I think it always works out when you just kind of wing it. That's how, you know, I like to do certain styles because I end up really being satisfied with them just like how I was with this one. So I'm just getting my hair together. I could have taken some around the back, but, you know, this is just some hair that I put on my little hair tie. If I had crocheted, that's, that would have been a bit different. But what I was going for, it still worked out. So right now I'm just separating my Marley hair. 
and I'm going to be rolling it up. You'll see how I'm going to start a roll so that it could turn into like a barrel. I know back in the days, you know, girls used to do the barrel curls with pin curls and everything. So I just kind of reminisced and thought about that. So that's what I was doing in this case. So I'm just going to go ahead and just roll that up. Use my index finger, let it roll around there. And I'm going to tuck the excess in the, on the inside and roll. And then I'm going to position that so it can stay. Y'all, this is where the hairpin, I'm sorry, the bobby pin comes into play because the bobby pin is more sturdy. So it will keep, you know, whatever design that you're looking to go for, like a barrel curl or something. It will keep that in place most definitely. Okay, guys. So right now I'm just separating my hair so that I can create, I believe I did about five other barrel curls around my little ponytail that I have here. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Just kind of finger detangling a little. And then I'm just going to roll it around my fingers and then tuck it and roll, tuck and roll. And just place that where it's supposed to be with your bobby pin. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and complete a few more. <laughs> I was just determined to show y'all that doggone bobby pin so y'all could just see it. But again, like I said, I try to be thorough in my videos. You know, I hope that you will find it to be helpful. I went on ahead and took my little trusty mirror and started examining everything, seeing if it looks right. And, you know, I wasn't so bothered about my hair being, of course, straight this time because the kinky hair you know it um blends in very well with your natural hair texture so that's just the finished look far as the braids and putting everything together is concerned now of course i'm going to go back and clean up a few areas and i also have to put my little beads on the end of my braid i was thinking about putting some inside of the bond that i'm wearing but I think I may just pass on that. It depends on how I feel. Okay, guys, so at this point, like I said, I 
discovered how I put it on my braid the last time. So I just fed a little bit of the hair through and just secured it with a rubber band. So right now I'm just trying to, again, um, singe off any flyaway hairs. Just trying to make sure that's done. Kind of like at the same time showing the top of my hair. Um, I'm just putting little shells on the ends. And like I said, I did decide to not put any in my bun at the moment. Just because with being at the gym, I don't want to be moving around, you know, and lose any. Even though I would just sew them in place. But I may just do that for the weekend if I wanted to go a little fancier. So I'm just putting on my shells. After that, I'll just be, you know, tightening up my hair some. Now, before I went to bed, I did go ahead and um, put some edge control on and everything. I know it, was, it wasn't going to be like that super sleek look because I wasn't so much trying to go for a super sleek. You know, but just so it could be nice and neat. That's what I ended up doing. So that's the back of my hair. Just trying to position everything nicely. Just looking at it, making sure it all looks the way it should. But yeah, this was a cute and fun style. I enjoyed doing it. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. You know, I may take it and make it your own. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I appreciate all that decided to hang in there with me and check out my cute little hairstyle for the week. I will have a couple of pictures up on my um, video so you can see it. So thanks very much. God bless. Good night y'all.